a whole YouTube channel, I feel like why don't I become a director of my own things? So I'm deciding to be a narrator of my little two days in San Francisco that I filmed. Trying to find as much like not parking, not having to pay for parking as possible because I'm probably gonna go. Wait, my phone was actually at 7% when I walked out. It's a lesson that I really did learn because I was in a very unknown area and I decided to walk out with my phone at that percentage. Um, definitely a lesson learned. I would never do that again. A lot of thrift stores. Vlogging by myself and I love it so much, but at the same time, it's like kind of weird to just be by yourself and do this. This house, oh my God, so much greenery. It's really not as awkward. I'm like with people. When I'm by myself, it's like, Bitch, literally by yourself like what are you doing right can we focus the camera near it or is it across this it's across the fucking street didn't want to get anything to drink at first i really just wanted to go there just to charge my phone I felt wrong for that so i decided to get the brown sugar milk tea I tried it and it was actually really good and i kind of regret trying it because now i might become a boba drinker and i really don't want that money to go to waste just doing that A lot of different stuff but it's not a lot of thrift stores like that the ones i was going to that was more vintage so i need to get to like actual thrift stores because i did get a little something from second street but i didn't get like what i really wanted oh i'm so far away i figured it out i'm like i need to go all the way i'm here i gotta go there really nice this walk is making me turn into a bitch stuff because it's got me going in circles with two bags. I only found two things. So that's how I know I need to go to a San Francisco Goodwill. Like, people be sleeping on the Goodwills. The outfit to be doing this, but y'all, y'all, I love this. probably will be going back but making a more professional type of vlog and getting over my anxiety of filming by myself because that's just one thing that I really have for myself like as you could tell like in like the clips and stuff I was really kind of hiding the camera away shying away from the camera shying away from my own camera I do have a sliver a little sliver of social anxiety and I don't like when people be looking at me like I can't stand it like don't look away like i don't want you to see me the vlogs the public vlogs at least will be way better i'm so sorry i'm so sorry but i wanted to get some content out for y'all because i haven't had content for two weeks two weeks but i promise y'all i'm back on my grind i'm not leaving i'm not leaving really hope you guys did enjoy the video because i didn't have no outro either because my social anxiety was so bad and I'm sorry, I'm really, I'm really gonna work on that, y'all. Like, I promise you, I'm gonna be out 
with the camera like this. Clock that tea, clock that fear, and start recording. Because I promise you, you never know what could happen. You never know what you could do. Clock that tea, clock it all the way. <laughs> so like if you're still here, or thumbs down, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't ruin my stuff, so keep this liking it if you don't like it. I don't give a fuck.